Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. This one's probably going to be kind of on the short side. I shared with you last week my planner essential. Where's my bag? This bag here. Um, things that I use on a regular basis. And I was thinking, why didn't I share with you my pencil case as well? Because they kind of go hand in hand. But I'm kind of happy I didn't because I'm having to break them up into parts so part one part two and and it can be a little frustrating so I didn't want to make it a, annoying for you guys so I figured and then saving you guys giving you guys something to watch the next week I figured would be good I do want to make videos on a regular basis so that you guys are expecting something from me once a week um, I don't want to be one of those that you know, those one hit, one wonder, is that what you call them? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to jump in and then disappear for a month or two and then come back, get you excited, and then do the same and just disappear. I do want to come in and make videos on a regular basis. So anyways, enough of that. This is my current pencil case. So I have this kind of stuff with a few different things, things that I use on a regular basis. I do have other pens and pencils and highlighters um, separate from this that I'm not currently using. So um, I specifically have things in here that I am actually grabbing on a regular basis. I did receive another pencil case from a good friend of mine the other day which I thought was really sweet. And I think I would probably keep this one in my purse. And so um, I think she got this from jo Joann's or Michael's. I'm not sure, but these just have um, a few highlighters, pencils, multiple colors of pens, and a ruler. And that's about it. That's really all I need out and about. This one here has a few more other items that I use all the time. And so I'm just going to grab things one by one out of here and just lay them here and lay them down here and just make a mess and share with you guys what I have. This bag um, was purchased from Daiso in California. I am currently living in Las Vegas and there is no Daiso in Las Vegas, unfortunately. So when I was out there a few months ago, I did take advantage of that and bought this cute bag and a few other things. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do have a set of scissors in here, of course. These scissors, scissors I actually really like. They were purchased from the 99 cent store. So for 99 cents and a pair of scissors that are considered my favorite, that's a good buy. I have many um, highlighters in here. This is the Friction Pastel Highlighter. I was just I'm using one. Um, I'm using the blue one for this week for highlighting um, tasks that I've already done. So that one's not in here. I probably threw it in this bag for this video just so I can share with you guys everything. So I have that, and I actually have another set of highlighters. These are not friction, pilot friction. These are just regular highlighters. But it's another set. Usually if I don't want something so pastel-y, I w um, would go ahead and jump to this highlighter um, packet. And then I have a few individual highlighters in here as well. Um, here's the blue one that goes with this. And I have this cute double-sided. And all my highlighters are double-sided. You got the standard size and then the very thin tip except for the friction and then this little um, single highlighter but this is double sided again with the um, standard size and then the thin tip and you have a little diamond at the tip they're really cute so there's that and then here's another highlighter I have the two-way pin um, this is a favorite of mine and if you guys haven't heard of this before, I get it from Michaels. I use this all the time. It is a must. Um, if you apply this on and stick it to something immediately while it's still blue, um, it becomes permanent. If you um, 
apply this onto something and kind of let it air dry for a few seconds it'll turn clear and when it's clear it becomes repositional so this is absolutely handy great for making your own sticky note or just adhering something to your notebook or whatnot um, I also have a tape runner this is this is just a little cheap and expensive tape runner from the 99 cent store that sits in there as well and then I also have this um, white out which is in the shape of a heart so there's this one and then I have the other half which is blue and they connect but right now I don't have them connected so that sits in there and then I just have some pens this is a cute pastel pink color um, a pencil from Target and this really cute pen from um, a Japanese store these tips are so fine I mean, absolutely perfect for writing very tiny and, and small little um, places. So is this one. Here's another one. I have another set of scissors. Don't really need two, but I have them in there for whatever reason. Um, let's see. And then I have a few more pins in here. This one here was from Michaels. I think this is an art pin, but... It is a permanent pen. It's in black and it works very well for just a um, a regular pen um, for writing on like um, glossy surface surfaces and not worrying about it smearing. This works really well as also. So I have that. I have this hole punch. This one is from Walmart. I have to say for a dollar, this is one of my favorite hole punchers that I have. Um, it works so good. It punches clear, clear, like easily without like putting effort into it through multiple sheets of paper. And, um, I would definitely advise this if you guys were looking for a good handy travel size, um, hole puncher. Then I have, um, a stapler, little mini miniature size stapler. I have, let's see here, some then washi tape. I do use these for um, my monthly uh, pages for blocking out long periods of time. So if I'm going to Los Angeles for a week, I will use this to block those weeks off in my monthly planner. I have other colors too, but I just chose blue for now and then I'll probably switch into some other colors later. I also have these here too. I actually have too many in here, so I'm probably going to take a few of them out and just leave like one or two. I have a few binder clips. I use binder clips um, every so often in my planner. And that's it, guys. That is all that's in my bag. So not much. Um, just multiple pins and just essentials as far as like tape runner, um, scissors, highlighters, and hole punch and things like that. So if I'm out and about and I feel like I'm going to do some planning, it's easy to grab that black and white striped bag, this bear bag, and be on my way. But that's about it. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, um, not necessarily concerns, but if any questions or requests, please let me know down in the comments uh, section down below. I'd be more than happy to um, make a video with whatever you guys want to see. I respond to everyone. And that's about it, guys. If you have any questions also about the things that I shared with you, where I purchased them from, um, again, leave me a comment down below. I love making these videos for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Bye.